of Tech Spreader Hunting. Today we're going to talk about one of my dedicated nighttime rifles. Now this is one of my top two or three favorite dedicated nighttime rifles. Now I still haven't Duracoated the barrel or had it Cerakoted or anything else. Probably going to get to that here in a couple of days because I just don't like how shiny it is when we're running lights and everything else. But this thing, I ran it last season and it performed fantastic. So we'll talk about it real fast. This is actually a little custom rifle I put together on a Ruger American Action. And as you can tell, it's in the Magpul Hunter Stock. And we're running the AICS pattern magazines. We do have the 14 inch Area 419 Arca Rail with the barricade stop. This is just, this 14 inch comes with barricade stop. I really don't have a use for a barricade stop on this rifle, but it is on there because I run this rifle as a dedicated nighttime rifle. This is the 24 inch 6 Creed in a 1 in 10 twist barrel. Now, what that means if you haven't seen my write ups is. We were running 70 grain nozzlers at like 38.50 feet per second. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, 38.50 feet per second. Now, we are running the same optic, essentially, as we got on our 22 Creedmoor. Howa is a three and a half to 18 with the Barmet reticle, illuminated, all that good stuff. You can look it up, VX6 line from Leopold. Fantastic optic, especially for nighttime. And it's kind of a finer crosshair, but it does illuminate, so you can see that at night. And it has a nice little Varmint Hunters type, BDC type reticle that we've gotten to match up with our ballistics perfectly fine. It's awesome. We do have QD cups installed in on the stock in case we do carry this, sling, this thing on a sling during the daytime. We are running this big, huge bolt knob because it's nighttime. We're going to be running as fast as we can and you don't always have plenty of light to see and everything else. This thing makes manipulation of the bolt very fast and very easily. Now, some of our loads are kind of hot that I run this rifle. At first, I was running them over 3850. I was running them closer to 3900, which I do not recommend. It is not safe, but I was running them that fast and having a larger bolt knob to help with that extraction was kind of handy. And it also just makes manipulation of the bolt that much faster and easier. We are running the titanium bolt shroud and we replaced the caulking piece on the inside of the bolt with the stuff from Anarchy Outdoors. The bolt handle, bolt knob, titanium bolt shroud, all came from Anarchy Outdoors. And I am pleased to announce we are carrying those items in the store now at Al Outdoors in Midland, Texas. We're carrying the bolt handles, the bolt shrouds. And if you guys want to see more products, just let us know. I'll get them ordered and put in the store. We got the little tools when you want to change this out the bolt shroud and the bolt handle out and you can check out my video on youtube about that that's pretty much it i mean we're running timney trigger we carry those at ally as well we carry rigor uh, the magpul stocks for the rigor americans at ally as well it's kind of like a little one-stop shop for your needs for the rigor american if you want to kind of jazz it up a little bit like this now this is a 24 inch flooded barrel from ally munitions and we do run the Dead Air Nomad L on this rifle, running the Area 419 muzzle device and suppressor device. This is a fantastic shooting rifle, and I was getting asked just today what projectiles a 1 in 10 twist can shoot. So far, we've ran the 70s, run flawless out of this thing. 80 grainers shoot fantastic, and we actually run our 95 grainers, uh, 95 SMKs, and it shot still a half inch group. And those loads are actually made for seven and a half twist barrels. I haven't sat down and developed a load for this in 95 grainers because I just use it for varmint hunting. And I have called out some deer running the 70 grainers that work fantastic. Should you do it that way? Probably not. You should probably choose a projectile that's really better for shooting whitetail. Like I said, we use 95 SMKs and it works fantastic. But the 110 twist will run I know for a fact up to a 95 grain projectile. Now I have it shot at long range to make sure it's still going to stabilize it and all that good stuff at longer ranges, but at 100 yards it still shoots fantastic. And if you guys want us to, we will do more testing on it. But so far, this rifle is fantastic. It's super accurate. And, you know, a lot of people don't think much of the Ruger Americans, but I actually think they're absolute fantastic actions. They will take a lot of abuse 
and a lot of overpressure rounds because I like to run them that way and I do not suggest you do it that way they will take the abuse of overpressure rounds quite well again I do not recommend you doing so but I do do the way I want to with my own personal rifles so there's our six creed more basically built it for a hunting rifle it just gets the job done and it does that perfectly that's it for this time we'll see you guys next time